is the Trinity Broadcasting Network. You're a part of the world's largest prayer and praise gathering. Join us on Praise the Lord from the Great Northwest as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teaching to encourage and inspire and music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. This is Seattle, praise the Lord. And we have our prayer lines open today. This is our special Mother's Day program. And yes, excited about our first guest, uh, next guest. Next not guest, our first not guest. The third guest. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, her name is Latasha Haskins. Mm -hmm. And she's a beautiful young Christian woman who's making a difference in our world. And she is a single mother. So she has a message for all of us today. Would you welcome Latasha Haskins? <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Beautiful lady. Thank you. Natasha, it's great to see you today. And boy, uh, last evening I was reading over your bio and I thought, what a wonderful lady. And my wife said, you're going to enjoy interviewing Latasha. And uh, uh, you're as beautiful as your name. Thank and you. And we're really glad to see you here today. Uh, you are the 2008 Miss Washington Plus. Talk about that for a moment. Yes, I'm very excited. Um, I had the awesome privilege of being awarded that title um, beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a part of the Miss Plus America system. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not affiliated with the Miss America program, but um, it is a, a definitely a good pageant in its own mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. um, it was founded by a Christian organization called mm -hmm. the Coronet Production. So that's mm -hmm. awesome to be a part of yes. um, a system that is founded on Christian principles. Mm -hmm. um, very excited. I'm actually going to be competing in the national competition in Dallas, Texas, beginning of July. Congrats. Wow. So um, the plan is to bring home a national title to Washington. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so definitely can hopefully do what God has um, planned for me to do and also expand it throughout, you know, the whole country. So yeah. I'm really Wonderful. excited about that. Well, Congratulations. Uh, you're you. a beautiful lady and uh, but you're beautiful on the inside. Yes. All the things that God has done for you, is doing through you, is really the things that we want to pull out today. And we're <laughs> so excited about that. Uh, let's talk about the fact that uh, you're a single mother and you're here today to encourage mothers mm -hmm. and single mothers in particular. Yes, I am. Um, I've always had well, since I became a single mother, I've definitely had a passion mm -hmm. for other single mothers because um, not that we are necessarily stronger than you know a mother that's in a two-parent home, mm -hmm. but it definitely does take an extra bout of strength mm -hmm. and um, stronger right. faith mm -hmm. and um, bigger support system. Mm -hmm. So um, there definitely is a possibility and you can do what you wanna do and you definitely can be an encouragement to your children. You don't have to feel hindered by that single mother's name and um, God has put it on my heart to, you know, use my testimony mm -hmm. um, in being a single parent with my, my two handsome boys mm -hmm. um, to be able to encourage other single mothers and let them know they can fulfill God's purpose for their lives and hopefully first realizing God's purpose for their lives mm -hmm. and the strength that they can have in their communities and their churches and hopefully with other single mothers. And, and uh, when we were reading the, uh, your bio, I just said you wanted to take this opportunity of uh, being in the contest as using that as a platform. Yes. And so you call your platform a Samacy. Uh, just uh, identify <laughs> Did that, that for Did you say that right? <laughs> yes, Samacy. Sort of. Yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's the acronym. Mm -hmm. So, and that stands for Single Mothers Achieving Confidence and Independence. Mm -hmm. And that really just spells out, you know, the journey that I'm on, that I continue to be on, mm -hmm. and that, you know, God and my support system, um, primarily my parents and, and family, have helped me move through that journey. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, as a single mother, you know, you're not hindered. You know, right. the stereotypes don't have to, you know, stop you and you don't have to be stuck on the system that there are possibilities. Mm -hmm. You can realize your dreams and it's mm -hmm. it's not just a cliche, it's really can happen. Mm -hmm. And of course that's through God, you know, mm -hmm. and that's through his strength 
are yes. we able to be able to realize those dreams and be the best parents? Um, we're seeing many people that are products of single parent homes, but they have become amazing people. Yes. They're impacting you know, our country and our region. So um, there's definitely hope there. And some of the strongest leaders have come from single parent mm -hmm. homes. So bringing that to light and encouraging people. With that. Absolutely. You know, the, the truth is God meets us wherever mm -hmm. we are. Uh, sometimes we can and cannot choose our circumstance, but we can choose to invite God into our circumstance, yes. and that's when things change greatly. Yes. Now, talk to me a little bit about uh, uh, some of your achievements. I, I read your uh, high school GPA, and I thought, wow, this, this girl, <laughs> 3.7? Yeah, 3. Point, about 3.75. Yeah. Um, that was a little while ago, but still, I, I pride myself on that. Absolutely. Love school, was mm -hmm. involved in you know student government as well as athletics. Mm -hmm. Took after my father on that, so loved basketball. Was pretty well good at that, mm -hmm. um, but definitely enjoyed school primarily. You know English and. Um, have tried to be an overachiever usually at most things that I do. So I, I think I get that from my mom. So were you raised in a Christian home? Tell us I about sure your family. Yes, uh -huh. I sure was. Um, I was raised in Eastern Washington. My mm -hmm. parents are um, Washington State University alumni. Mm -hmm. So sorry if there's any Huskies in the audience, but <laughs> <laughs> they are. And um, they were both, you know, Christians and raised us in um, a Christian home. I have mm -hmm. two brothers as mm -hmm. well. We were part of the Maranatha ministry down there, very mm -hmm. small um, ministry there in Pullman, um, and we moved over to Eastern Washington in 92, mm -hmm. had a privilege of becoming a part of um, City Church, mm -hmm. um, which is based in Kirkland. They have several other campuses and, and my parents uh, serve as pastors on staff there. So mm -hmm. definitely um, grew up and was very enriched in God's word and had excellent examples um, mm -hmm. and was a part, a big part of the youth program there mm -hmm. at City Church. Mm -hmm. So that's wonderful. Yeah, have a good foundation, definitely good foundation. Good foundation. And uh, we probably know some of the same people who are associated with the youth program there probably, at uh, City Church. Yes. We'll have to talk about that after. <laughs> okay. um, uh, well, your, uh, your goals certainly uh, go beyond mm -hmm. the platform that you're running on right now. Uh, you mm -hmm. have a desire to uh, have a cosmetology and business license. Yes. Talk about that. Yes, um, I started um, earning credits towards my business management degree. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna be going back to school in the fall to complete that, so very excited. Um, my mother's a business major, that's kind of where that came from, but um, I do have a desire um, to be involved in cosmetology and not mm -hmm. just cosmetology of the outer appearance, but of the inner yeah. inside. And um, I, after I went through the, the tracks at City Church, I started a cell group called Extreme Makeover from the Inside Out. Mm -hmm. And um, it was basically starting, you know, on the inside and, and learning, you know, that um, God created you yeah. and that he knew who you were going to be from before you were even formed. And awesome. that he, you know, he made us perfect and mm -hmm. that we really are beautiful. Um, and it starts on the inside out because yeah. once mm -hmm. you realize that in here, then you, it starts showing on the outside and you start doing things externally to um, show that what's going on on the inside. Um, so when I do open my salon, I'm not gonna say if, but when I do, mm -hmm. I definitely want it to be a place where women can come and not just be pampered externally, but it can be pampered yeah, internally. Absolutely. And um, oh, whether they wanna great. have you know, prayer or um, you know, speak with other women that are strong yeah. in the faith and, and come to know Jesus the way that I've known him you know, as, um, as my healer, as you know, my husband, even yeah. now. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. So um, that, that plays a key role and it's not That's just wonderful. about the external beauty. Yeah, they'll leave and they have a cute hairstyle and uh -huh. <laughs> you know, sure. um, hopefully their nails and toes done, mm -hmm. but also they'll have a new sense mm -hmm. you know, yeah. of who they are in God. That is great. The first time I've ever heard anyone express a desire you know, when they open mm -hmm. a business mm -hmm. uh, of that type that it would cover the inside as well, the outside. I, yes. In your, when you, in your church, when your groups in your church, what age group of women do you work with? All ages or? Um, well, currently I'm actually, God led me to Seattle International Church and that's mm -hmm. based in West Seattle. Mm -hmm. I started mm -hmm. going there about a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. um, awesome church um, with Ray and Julia Hampton mm -hmm. and I've um, been working in their women's ministry. I would say the average age is probably, you know, mid to late 20s, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's a growing church. So mm -hmm. I definitely get to impact girls that are, you know, preteens mm -hmm. up to, you know, in their 40s mm -hmm. and um, just growing that women's ministry there. Mm -hmm. um, do a lot of outreach programs and they're a very outreach based mm -hmm. church. Yeah. So I've had a lot of opportunities to be uh -huh. a part in the community. Young women, young teens. Well, mm -hmm. they start earlier than that now, but yeah. uh, young women are so concerned about the way they look on yes. the outside yes. and to have a role model that can uh, deposit mm -hmm. into their lives. 
uh, influence that the, it starts on the inside. Yeah. It really does, and mm -hmm. I, I think it's that some to, to agree has become kind of a cliche by a lot of the cosmetic lines mm -hmm. and you know beauty from the inside out. But really, mm -hmm. that is what it is. And I, mm -hmm. my whole. Um, purpose and, and mission has been based out of Romans 12 too, and that is being transformed mm -hmm. right. by the renewing of your mind. And, and, and you've developed a curriculum, uh, mm -hmm. the MTC curriculum. Yeah. I want you to talk about that. Yes, that's um, the Mindset Transformation Curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, very excited about it. Um, again, it, it was um, birthed mm -hmm. out of the Romans 12 too, and mm -hmm. it is a an always occurring journey, mm -hmm. but um, really it's it's simplistic in, it, in its format, mm -hmm. but it can be a little intense because it, it does, um, force you to look at yourself, almost like putting up a, a spiritual mirror, an inner, mm. an inner mirror. Mm -hmm. And it's the process that God took me through um, as I was going from a place of just way down, not knowing what's going on, kind of like a um, prodigal son in the pigsty experience mm -hmm. to, you know, wow, what am I doing here? You know, God has so much mm -hmm. more for me. And going back to, you know, where I, where I came from, um, and this um, curriculum is to help people go through that same exactly. go through mm -hmm. that same process mm -hmm. because a lot of them may not have mm -hmm. you know that family to go back to. I was blessed to have yeah. that upbringing, but a lot of women, mm -hmm. especially the single mothers now in yes. this generation, they don't have that. And I um, have asked God to allow me to stand in that gap and hopefully exactly. bridge that together. And, and, and that's, that's where the beautiful. curriculum comes in. Yes. If if you don't have a family to go back to, you did, mm -hmm. but not everyone does. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there's still there's still hope. Yes. No where, where to return to, but it's still yes. hope because the Lord is our ultimate hope. Yes. And, uh, you know, the, the mindset transformation, I really like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm kind of a fan of New Living Translation, and it says, be transformed by changing the way mm -hmm. you think. think. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, what an awesome thing. And single moms, that's a great message for single yes. moms mm -hmm. because it's so easy to get in this mindset, oh, woe is me, mm -hmm. I'm by myself, mm -hmm. you know. And you're a great uh, role model and teacher uh, and example. Now, do you have a way, like, if people listen today, and I know they're interested, yes. and uh, they'd like to get a hold of the curriculum, you have a website. Is that the way to contact you? Yes, I do and have a And the website, website is? It's um, www.latashahaskins.com. <laughs> So um, pretty hopefully easy to remember yes, yes. and you can go there and, and learn more about um, me and what God's doing definitely through me. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as that curriculum is, is concerned, um, I'm not like, you know, selling it per se, but I am definitely, um, do God is opening doors for me to be able to share that. And exactly. Yes, so you're and, available if you want to come speak at a yes, group. Yes, or definitely. So, so it's www.latasha.com. Haskins.com, and that's that's lowercase one word www.latashahaskins.com. Yes. yes, sir. <laughs> well, you're a wonderful guest, and Thank uh, you. you're a, you're a wonderful person. We can tell that, and uh, we know you're going to go far. Well, we want to say thank you, thank Latasha, you so for coming much. today. Thank we want to say Beautiful. thank you for being a part of the program. Thank you. And you've been a tremendous encourager. You have to me. You will be the people listening today.